All right, y'all, welcome back for another ballistics gel test. Today, I've got Remington High Performance Rifle in 243 Winchester. This is their 80 grain pointed soft point load. And here is your box for that Remington High Performance Rifle 80 grain, wrong way, 80 grain pointed soft point 243 load. Now they do have their deer icon on here, meaning that as far as I can tell, this is meant for deer hunting. We'll see how it performs in ballistics gel and you know whether or not I would use it on deer. So here is your promo info for high performance rifle. Here is some more information right here. Feel free to stop, pause, and read all that if you would like to. Here's your ballistics info. Muzzle velocity of 3,350 feet per second. This stuff is screaming. At least it's supposedly screaming. And we will be shooting this out of a 20-inch barreled sort of carbine-style rifle, which I think is appropriate for the 243. A lot of people have youth rifles chambered in this caliber with a little bit shorter barrel. We'll see how close we get to that spec velocity. We'll yank one out, take a look. And there it is, short little kind of stubby bullet for the 243. Let's go shoot it and see how it does. And my test rifle today is my Winchester Model 70 Featherweight Compact, chambered in 243 Winchester, of course. It's got a 20 inch barrel up top. I've got a Leopold FX2 six power scope. And coming on back, I've got one of my handmade leather cartridge cuffs. I've got 243 stamped right in it. Check out my website, masonleather.com. It will be linked in the description and the pinned comment. I would absolutely love to make you one. And coming over the other side, I've got my white tail deer design. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And let's go ahead and take a look at the velocities for that Remington high performance rifle, so called 80 grain pointed soft point. The box looks like a core locked, but I mean, I don't know. Apparently, it's not core locked, even though it's got a deer on the box. High velocity 3220. This stuff is screaming along low 3093. An average was 3154, and that's out of a 20 inch barrel, so short barrel, and we're still getting well over 3,000 feet per second. And we are down here at the blocks after shooting that Remington 80 grain pointed soft point stuff out of the 243. We did capture all three bullets, and they are all right here in the first block. So let's go ahead and look at penetration. And it looks like we got, they are all, I'm going to give two of them 13 and a half and one of them 14 and a half. How's that? And it looks like we got some mushrooming there. It does look like we had some fragmentation a little bit back here. And we got some pretty nasty wound cavity. Comes in, starts expanding just past, well, right about one and a quarter inches. Big old wound cavity. And then it tapers off at about the seven to eight inch mark. And then they just keep on penetrating. So it looks like these things hit pretty hard initially and peter out. Um, there is a deer on the box. I guess these are meant for deer hunting. Compared to a lot of other ammo I've tested, including 243, um, I mean, this didn't perform horribly, but they're, they're some of the more shallow penetrating deer loads that I have tested. But let's go ahead and dig them out and take a look. And here are those 80 grain pointed soft point high performance rifle bullets as recovered from the ballistics gel fired from the 243. Weight retention wise, we saw 51, 56, and 60 grains for an average of 56 grains retained weight. That's 70% weight retention. And onto expansion, we saw 0.5 inches, 0.53 inches, and 0.62 inches expanded diameter. That works out to 0.55 inches on average, 2.3x expansion. Really good from these little bullets. And as you can see, the expansion was pretty consistent and uniform. On to velocity, our high velocity was 3,220 feet per second. Our low was 3,093 feet per second for an average of 3,154 feet per second versus the factory build velocity of 3,350 feet per second. So we did come in 196 feet per second slow, 
not surprising. We were shooting this out of a 20 inch barrel, which I think is appropriate for the 243. A lot of youth rifles out there chambered in this caliber. And 243 is one of those cartridges that really can use all the barrel length it can get. Had we had a 24 inch varmint rifle, no doubt we would have closed that gap a bit. But this is some good real world data, especially if you've got a 20 inch barrel 243. And on to penetration, we saw a 13 and a half. 13 and a half and 14 and a half inches. So very, very consistent penetration for an average of about 14 inches of penetration, which is really about what I would expect from an 80 grain, you know, 243 caliber bullet. I wouldn't expect more than that. We got good expansion, which will hinder penetration a bit, but we still got decent penetration for what these are. And then on a kinetic energy with an 80 grain bullet going on average 3,154 feet per second, that works out to 1,767 foot pounds of energy at the muzzle. All right, y'all, time for my final thoughts on that Remington high performance rifle 80 grain load out of the 243. I'm actually pleasantly surprised with how this load did. It held together pretty well, 70% weight retention from a little soft point bullet going well over 3,000 feet per second. You can't do much better than that expansion wise, 2.3x. So not only did it retain a majority of its weight, it also expanded rather nicely. And then velocity wise, we had a high of 3,220 feet per second. Now the box spec was 3,350. Remember, we're shooting this out of a compact 20-inch barreled rifle. Again, I think it's appropriate for the 243. There's a lot of compact and youth rifles out there in 243. A lot of kids use it with you know shorter, more compact rifles, shorter barrels. So I think this is real good, real-world data. If you've got a longer barreled 243, no doubt you'll see a little bit more velocity, but I'm actually surprised we saw it as high as we did. And then penetration-wise, very consistent, averaging 14 inches. I'm actually pleasantly surprised it went that deep with how small this bullet is, how much it expanded, and having shed 30% of its weight. Now, as far as deer hunting with this ammo, remember on the box, they have a little deer icon. I don't know if it would be my first choice. Well, I do know it definitely wouldn't be my first choice or probably even my 10th choice for deer hunting with a 243. Would it get the job done? I'm sure it would. White-tailed deer aren't the toughest critters in the world. If you make a real good shot, it would definitely put one down. But for my money, I think there's definitely better options out there. What would I use this ammo for? I don't know, coyote hunting, predator hunting, stuff like that. I think it would be an excellent choice for that. And check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. And there are hundreds of reviews on my website, so you can see what real hunters have to say about their mason leather gear. And also, tons of photos showing all the customizable options, including name, initial, and caliber stamping, as well as wild game designs and more. Everything is handmade by me right here in the USA. I would love to be a part of your hunt through my leather gear. And it helps support this channel, so I can bring you more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests. And lots of other cool stuff in the future. The link will be in the video description and the pinned comment, or you can just type masonleather.com into your web browser. And click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.